Hi, and welcome everybody to the Friday Sports Zone in week one of the high school football season in Ohio. Scott Nolte along with Chip Reed. Hey, Scott. Yes, coming up on the show, St. C opens up at Carrollton. Big Red Host Olin Tangy Liberty while Edison and Toronto on the other new fields. That's pretty exciting. Very exciting. But, Chip, we're going to start in Belmont County with Shady Side playing host to Martins Ferry. To Fleming Field we go where the Purple Riders, well, they got a young backfield this year. See how that turns out. The Tigers, though, returning most of their skilled players from last year's regional final team. First quarter, no score. Aiden Ludoff has his pass picked off by Shady Side's Corey Beckett. Nice return here by Beckett before he's run out of bounds. That would set Shady Side up into scoring position. A few okay. plays later, Reese Francis runs over some would be tacklers into the end zone for a touchdown. Seven yard score at 6 0 in favor of Shady Side. After the first, Ace Ongley honored for his heroic action this summer when he saved the life of a one year old girl in the water in North Myrtle Beach. That's a great hero. That's amazing. Right there, it's a great shot there, man. too. Yeah. Yes. Second quarter, Francis to Ben Wash. And he'll just work his way down the sideline, racing all the way to the Martins Ferry 10 yard line before he's finally forced out of bounds. He's not a wash. Not at all. A few plays later, it's Francis who fumbles the snap, but picks it up and scores anyway from six yards out and a 13 0 Shady Side lead. Ferry driving again, but Ludoff double clutches and uh oh, that's picked off by Andrew Osmond, who returns it 38 yards for another Shady Side touchdown. They led 28 0 at the half. They go on to win 26 to 6 over Martins Ferry. St. Clairsville cheerleaders are getting the Red Devil faithful fired up. It's a team sport, Scott, and we're happy to include the cheerleaders. The Red Devils had to play from behind early. Here's the Warriors within the five yard line. Chase Olstrom is in for the touchdown. This makes it 14 to 0. Carrollton, we're not even done with the first quarter. There will be a lot of points in this game. St. Clairsville said it's time for business. Here's a great way to start a drive. Drew Sessick links with his best target, Drew Overdick. He's going to make it to the end zone. But the play would be called back to about the 20 yard line for a block in the back. So they just sniff the end zone and they want to get it done. Jacob Jordan keeps the fire burning with the first down. Nice wheels there for Jordan. And coming up here, Sestic, Tyler Tonkovich is gone, but he calls his own number. The Red Devils get in the board. PAT would fail, though. It's 14 to 6. Warriors, they come out and play EA. Austin Coletti keeps it for himself and plugs them from about 10 yards out. So St. C still has some catching up to do. It's 21 to 6. Warriors, Overdick is running with the devil. Feet don't fail me now. They don't. How about a 50 plus yard connection from Seth Sick to Overdick? PAT will be good this time, make it 21 to 13. St. Clairsville starting to gain some traction and coming up here on defense. Jaron Starks picks off a wild throw from Coletti. Shoot at the walls of Heartache. Bang, bang. St. Clairsville beats the Warriors. High score in a fair 42 to 35. All right, Chip, let's go to Harding Stadium. Death Valley for you. Olin Tangy taking on Steubenville Big Red. First play of the third quarter. Steubenville's Rodney James takes it, busting tackles. And he's going to go 41 yards before he's finally knocked down at the 35. Big Red going to have to wait until next drive to score, though. Phaeton Hill to Isaac Hill, now in good position. Very next play, it's Rodney James Jr. again, hurtling people and slipping away. He's gone. 66 yards to the house. He's tough to bring down. Ben, Rodney so. James is a strong runner. They go for two here. Hill to Ty Pierce. That's good. 22-7, Steubenville in front. End of the third quarter, Big Red punting. Patriots will let the ball slip away. And guess who? Ty Pierce is there to recover it. Hit him in the hands. That's all. Fourth quarter, Big Red on defense again. Kaijon Hopkins tracks down the quarterback in the end zone for the safety. Big Red goes on to get the win, 22-7, as they open the season with a victory. All right, time for a break, though, but when we come back, Chip, we've got more highlights, including Edison playing their first game at their brand-new facility. Stay with us.